garlic is one of the ingredients that elevates hummus from boring and mediocre to exciting and tasty. In this batch, I'm using 10 cloves for a quart of garbanzo beans. Use more or less according to your taste. While we're peeling the garlic, let's look at some of the other things needed for hummus. First, we need garbanzos. This batch will require one quart. For that, we need two cups of dried beans. You can cook them on the stove top or with a slow cooker. I cook them in the oven eight hours at 200 degrees. Behind the beans is kosher salt, garlic and limes, tahini and olive oil. Limes make almost any food taste better. Here I'm using five small limes. The press is a Mexican Exprimador. Tahini gives hummus its soul. Don't be stingy. The sesame oil in tahini is magical. Now we get to the southwestern flavor. Here we eat chili with almost every meal. For this batch I'm using jalapenos. I particularly love red jalapenos. You can also use New Mexico green chili and New Mexico red chili. A single habanero will perform amazingly well. Remove as many seeds as you can. Wash your hands thoroughly when you're done.
Don't skimp on the olive oil. I like at least eight tablespoons for a quart of garbanzos. Add some kosher salt. One or two teaspoons is fine. Add a half a cup of garbanzos and a half a cup of the liquid from the bean pot to, to the processor. Drain the rest of the liquid into the same cup used for the lemon juice and save it in case you need more liquid later. Run the processor into the chili and garlic are completely ground up and the mixture is creamy. Add the rest of the garbanzos to the processor and grind until the hummus has a smooth texture. If the hummus is too thick, add more liquid that you saved earlier. Pack in one pint containers. Put a little olive oil on the top of the hummus and refrigerate. <laughs> 